Hey gang, how y'all doing? It is June 19, 2019. That's kind of interesting. And we are just 400 days away from the opening ceremony of the 2020 Olympic Summer Games in Tokyo, Japan. Are you excited? Oh my god, I have, I have goose pimples. I don't know if you can see them. I'm pretty thrilled. And it is just one day, just tomorrow, till I find out the results of the Olympic ticket lottery and where I'm going and what I'll be doing. And, oh, look at the hair standing up. So, anyways, uh, you want to talk about it? Okay, of course, of course, of course, I want to go to opening ceremony. But with five levels of tickets going from 140 bucks to 1400 bucks, I don't really want to pay 1400 bucks. So I bid for a D-level ticket, and we'll see what happens. Um, you know, if I don't get tickets in the first round, the other tickets become available later on. Uh, cycling. Uh, the road cycling competition is going to be at the Fuji International Speedway. So I don't know if you remember when you were kids playing a racing game at the video arcade. Um, one of the racetracks, and the first racetrack was the Fuji International Raceway, where you'd be racing around the track and you'd see Mount Fuji in the background. And of course, I'm going to be climbing Mount Fuji. And working with my calendar, it looks like I'm going to do that the last Monday before I leave town. God forbid I, you know, break a leg or anything. I don't miss out on my Olympic experience, you know, if it's on my last day, right? Um, football. I want to go see a football game as usual. Actually, you get to see two football games when you go to a football game at the Olympic Games. I don't know who I'm going to see, but I decided I want to see a game up in Sapporo. And I'm going to actually spend a night up in Sapporo. I picked a hotel uh, where I'm going to be staying actually for one night. It's going to be a hostel for like 30 bucks or whatever. Um, but it's 9.5 stars on TripAdvisor, whatever I think it is. So uh, people really like the place. And I'm going to get it. It's really centrally located, close to the airport, so it'll be really convenient for me to go in and out of town. And uh, I'm going to spend a day there and visit the uh, Sapporo Olympic facility from 1972 when the Winter Games were there. Next, uh, shooting. Uh, I'm going for the Skeet, the Skeet shotgun. I don't want to go to the details of the difference between uh, trap shooting and skeet shooting, um, but skeet shooting is a more difficult competition. Let's leave it at that. Um, I'll talk about it in more detail if and when I attend that competition. And that'll just be around Tokyo somewhere. Uh, baseball. I want to go to see a baseball game, um, mainly because it's going to be at Fukushima. There's only going to be one event, one sport, one game going to be held in Fukushima, and it's going to be a baseball game. And I'm going to try to get a ticket. I tried to get the, it looks like a B-quality ticket. I should have maybe asked for an A just to make sure I get a chance to go. But I asked for a B-level ticket, and um, that's just like a train ride away from uh, Tokyo where I'll be staying. When I go to Sapporo, I'm going to fly. Uh, you could take a train, but why waste the time? I'm going to fly there and uh, stay overnight, and that'll be that. Artistic gymnastics. I want to see uh, artistic gymnastics again. I'm going to see the women's individual all round. If This is if I get this is my dream, uh, lottery competition. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'll get more tickets later. But it, I'd like to see the women's individual all round competition. And then finally... Uh, Weightlifting, the men's 96 kilogram, that's the weight of the guys. So that's about 200 pounders, you know, big guys. Uh, and there'll be a victory ceremony after that event. So that's what I'm looking to get. That's six tickets and opening ceremonies. Um, we'll see what happens. You see this hat here, uh, it says Sydney 2000. It's actually like the 20th anniversary of Sydney 2000. Then I um, recently got this opening ceremony package, so I thought I'd share that with you. Hey, you want to take a peek? This is a package that they gave to everybody who attended opening ceremony in Sydney, Australia in 2000. After this, it went downhill. This was probably the last of the great opening ceremony gift track bags. Anyways, let's see what came with it. This is empty right now. This package is actually missing its feet. There should be a little rubber feet there that are missing on all four corners, but... It came with a little teeny tiny McDonald's hat. 
okay? Which is like a little coin bag or whatever you want to put in there. It came with a pair of Sydney socks. I got the yellow and green, but I think there were green and yellow ones also available. It came with these cool little stickers. This postcard. Hey, September 15th. That's the day of opening ceremonies, and my birthday is uh, really close to that. Came with a set of earplugs. Came with an opening ceremony pin card. Came with another pin card. You got a Coca-Cola pin there. And a Minute Maid there. Minute Maid is owned by Coca-Cola. Of course it came with an opening ceremony program. It came with a souvenir opening ceremony ticket. These are actual opening ceremony tickets. These are ones that some knucklehead folded in half. Right. There's a mint condition one. Might as well look at some other uh, Sydney tickets. Those are stubs. Full tickets with the stub there. These are day passes, like backstage passes if you're gonna get anywhere. When I got that package, I was able, also picked up these coins, which I got it for sale on Olympic Clinic. Baseball and some mascots. They're not made out of any precious metals or anything. I think it cost me like five dollar face values. All right. So that's kind of 20 years ago, uh, Sydney art, uh, you know, opening ceremony kit. But let me show you some artwork that uh, my mom did um, concerning sports and uh, some Olympic artwork here. My mom worked for NBC News back in the 70s and was working with uh, the Gumble Brothers and Charlie Jones and Floyd Calber and Jane Pauley and all these great people. Um, I don't want to go into all the names. But yeah, she was totally into it. 
Um, and this is a piece of artwork she made. It's the old. It's that NBCN that they came up with for a while, but then they had to uh, stop because some Nebraska TV station or sports station sued them for that N. And you see, my mom's got football there, and uh, she's got uh, the golf, and then the uh, basketball, and the baseball, and then the Olympics. That's an Olympic. Uh, I was looking at this the other day and wondered why uh, it didn't have anything Olympic on it, and then there it was. And I think I helped. I actually designed that for her. You know, that is as my copy. You know, mathematically that she could stitch this because this is like a needle. Um, you see how it's stitched in there. Pretty neato. I miss my mom. So I don't want to cry. So anyways, um, these are these two postcards that I picked up in uh, in Vancouver that I had framed, and they look really neat. One's an Olympic one, and one's a uh, Paralympic. How do I get that in there? Really nice. Isn't that neat? All right, well, let's kind of show you a little bit about to uh, Japan and where I'm going to be, what that's all about. Okay, so there's a map of Japan that I picked up at the Expo 1967 in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, um, at the World's Fair at the Japan Pavilion. So this map here is 50 years old. So here's the world. Here's the United States and uh, South America. And then here's uh, Africa and Europe. And here's Asia. You got, you know, China and uh, the Russia and all that. Anyways, uh, here's Japan right here. This little group of islands right here. And here they are blown up. Just gigantic. So forget the world view. Here are the islands of Japan. And here is Tokyo. Okay, that's where the Olympic Games are going to be at. This is where Mount Fuji's at. So that close to Tokyo. God, if Mount Fuji blew up, Tokyo would be wiped out. But anyways, Tokyo, Mount Fuji. This is Hiroshima. This is Fukushima. So it's a train ride from Tokyo to Fukushima. I'm going to take a bullet train from uh, Hiroshima. I may fly to Hiroshima. I don't know. We'll figure that out. And then here's Sapporo, way up here on the Hokkaido, the northern island. Way up there. I'm going to fly there for sure. So that's this really cool map of Japan. Hey, the last thing I want to mention is I set up a Patreon account for the first time. And um, I, I'm going to leave a link in the description below how you can check it out. And uh, what I'll do, if anybody contributes, you know, I'll give you a shout out. And if anybody's one of my customers who's a Patreon subscriber, um, just let me know when you buy an item. Send me, shout me out a message. And, uh, you know, I'll give you a discount or some freebies or whatever you want. And um, also subscribe, you know, I don't want you to hit the bell or anything, but subscribe to my channel, you know, it'd mean a lot. Make, leave some comments um, or whatever for future videos. And that's about it. Um, konnichiwa. Sayonara. Bye-bye.